I'm not even gonna lie, the promotion for Drag Mall Sparking Zero as of late has been pretty freaking nice. So, the official Drag Mall Games Twitter account, alongside the official Bandai Namco Twitter account, has been heavily promoting Drag Mall Sparking Zero because we're around two months away from the release of the game. And throughout the past few days, they've been posting snippets of characters using certain moves. And the reason why this is so good to see is because, one, it's just more gameplay of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero that we get to see in general, and two, we also get to see new things, such as moves that we didn't get to fully see, and even some moves that got completely changed. So I just want to run through what they've shown us so far. So the very first one is pretty straightforward. It's Android 18 using Infinity Bullet. Again, there's tons of gameplay of her online, and there's actually no differences between what they're showing here and what's already available to see online from the mountain of gameplay that we have. But again, we at least get to see it in some nice crispy HD quality. So again, Android 18 using Infinity Bullet, this is one of her Blast 2 moves. And then the one after that was Super Saiyan Broly from, you know, Dragon Ball Super. Now, this one is actually interesting to talk about concerning the move because remember that I got to play the demo at Summer Game Fest and I used Broly in that form and I used that move and they actually changed a few things concerning it. One of which is the name because the name of this move is called Omega Blaster. But when I played the demo, the name of the move was called Gigantic Ball. So I guess they decided Gigantic Ball wasn't really a good enough name. I, I don't know. But um, they changed the name of the move. But not only did they change the name, they also changed the animation of the move as well. Because in the demo footage, you'll see that Broly kind of just throws the move out. But in this footage, they made it slightly more cinematic. And personally speaking, I like the more cinematic version better than the demo version but still it also enforces that the demo is obviously not the final build right it's nowhere close to the final build because i know a lot of people have been uh you know very critical of the demo and wanting it to improve in certain areas which is you know it's understandable because it's a demo right they need the feedback to improve and clearly they are making those improvements so again whenever we see like demo footage just remember that is absolutely not the final build whatsoever like it looks nice for what is available to us right but that is not the final build they're still polishing up the game and we see that with broly right now using omega blaster with a slightly different animation than it was in the demo so there's that and then after broly we have grade 8 vegeta nothing changes here he's using his uh blast to move choma koho again the mouth blast move that he's had since you know the tenkaichi series Nothing really changes, but again, some more Grade 8 Vegeta gameplay. Can't really complain with that. Then after that, we get to see a new move for Dispo. Now, uh, Dispo is using Justice Kick. He's used this in other games as well. Uh, he absolutely has this move in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. When they added him in, yeah, Justice Kick. It was, it was a really, really good move too. I'm going to be honest with you. But we finally get to see it in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. It functions exactly like how I thought it would. Like Dispo just rushes in flips in the air, and then lands a kick and sends the opponent flying. So, we, again, we can see a bit of uh, Dispo's moveset in this game, but I'm hoping that we get to see more, because when it comes down to the Pride Troopers, I would say that the one that we've seen the most in action is probably Jiren, but I mean, for obvious reasons, right? So, again, like Topo and Dispo, I'm hoping that we get to see more of them in action, hopefully soon. Hopefully very soon, because remember, we're in August now, so... With that, I do expect a brand new trailer dropping sometime this month. I don't think they're probably going to touch Terminal Power. I think they'll probably be focused on uh, the Boo Saga, like probably Cell Saga and Boo Saga. So we'll see how that plays out. But uh, either way, though, hopefully we'll be able to get to see a bit more gameplay of Dispo in the future. And then moving on to Jiren. Now, this one is actually kind of interesting because we did get to see part of this move in action in one of the latest trailers. But in that trailer when i saw that move i said that the move was power rush and the main reason is because it was the only known move in jiren's arsenal that had him punching like that quickly but still to the point where you could visibly see the punches right 
and of course we get to see that move reflected in Dragon Ball's universe too. But uh, there's actually more to this attack in Dragon Ball's Working Zero where he does the punches, but he ends off with that like kind of encapsulating blast um, that deals, you know, damage to the opponent. So that's, I, I'm assuming that's why it's called Heat Break. It kind of makes sense. But yeah, so there was more to the attack and now we finally get to see that in action. So again, it's not Power Rush, it's Heat Break. And the move looks clean. Like, I wish that they actually showed us this entire full move in the trailer. They never did, and I don't know why, but at least now we finally get to see it. And now for the final bit of, uh, you know, new gameplay that they actually showed us. So as of this recording, this was 11 hours ago, and they showed us gameplay of base Vegito. Now we've seen him uh, in action like a little bit in the Fused Warriors trailer, but in this gameplay, we get to see a move that we haven't actually seen him use yet in Dragon Ball Working Zero. We know that he has a move, but we didn't get to see it yet. And that's Super Kamehameha. Now, why is this so important to talk about? Well, it's because there are a ton of characters in Dragon Ball Working Zero that have Super Kamehameha, right? Like one character that just pops into mind instantly is Super Saiyan 2 Adult Gohan. He has Super Kamehameha. But the reason why I'm so excited about this is because Vegito executes the move uniquely, right? Because instead of him, you know, charging the blast and then just firing it off and landing it on the opponent, Vegito backflips away from the opponent and then fires the blast. I'm sorry, that crap is fire, bro. Like it's, it's small details like that where you add like a bit of extra like life to the character, right? Like you differentiate them from the rest of the cast, right? Like, prime example, in Dragon Ball Universe 2, Dragon Ball Universe 2's generic ultimate attack is full power energy wave, right? Like, if there's just a character that doesn't have much on their moveset, they will usually give them full power energy wave, right? But the thing with that move is it's executed the same way across all characters. No difference in their animations whatsoever. Again, specifically the ultimate attack, right? But in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, we get to see that Super Kamehameha is going to be executed differently depending on who's using it. Because remember, Super Saiyan 2 Adult Gohan also has this move, but the way how he uses it is his hands are up in the air, and then afterwards he brings his arms down and then charges the attack and then fires it off, right? And then again, we get to see Vegito, he backflips, and then after backflipping, he fires off the blast. So again, it adds more personality to the characters because the one thing I really did not want to see was the characters pretty much using the same moves, which I mean, I understand if a lot of characters have the same move, but I didn't want them to all do it the same way. That's the thing. Like I would love to see them have their personality shine. And in this case with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, we get to see that in action because Vegito's using Super Kamehameha, but he's not doing it like everybody else. He's backflipping with it, and that's why he's fire. <laughs> but um, again, I, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. I'm just I'm really fond and just completely happy about the promotion that they're doing for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I think they're doing a fantastic job, and we're just slightly above two months away from the release of this game. Again, I'm excited, and hope you guys are excited too. And also, I just want to remind you guys that I am still doing a giveaway. So if you live in the United States and you don't have a PS5, or even if you do have a PS5 and you want to get a free PS5 and a copy of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero alongside some other goods with the uh, bundle as well, then make sure to click the link in the description below. The giveaway will be ending in about two months. So again, if you want a chance to get a free PS5 with Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and alongside a PSN card and Spider-Man 2, enter the giveaway, link is in the description below. And remember, there will be three winners, three winners. So that's three PS5s being given away. So make sure to enter. I want you guys to win. I want you guys to be able to experience Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. But I do want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.